So in this section, we're going to work on back control. And that's where you want to be in jiu-jitsu, with double hooks in or back control, so you can submit where a person is the weakest, no matter what size. So when you're fighting people from the front, they're stronger, if they can push, pull, control, you have uh, less to do. You want to get around to that back, and like I said, no matter what your size is, you can control someone bigger and stronger. So the first one that I like is just a near side hook. I showed this before, how to start the back control. I go here, connect my hands, I'm stepping on his far leg, and I get my hooks inside. Now I chose to roll this way on purpose. This is the kill arm. This is the one that's going to choke him out if necessary. If we rolled the other way and if he was laying on this arm, I can't, I can't choke as easy. So this sort of thing, I can choke if he has a gi on, but without the gi it's going to be more difficult. So I like to have the kill arm on bottom, control. I always imagine my arm like a blade, his head's falling over that blade. So I can control with a simple choke here, hips in, collar chokes, so that's one way. Now. I don't have to keep my traditional hooks here. My preference, actually my favorite way to control people is by first stepping on the belt and then going with a high heel here. So I step and I can control. It's very bizarre for this guy to feel that. My legs are long, I'm able to control this way, but I don't know if you can see how my foot's kind of contorted to the side. I have a turnout with my foot. It's hard to step out of that. So I control here and I step on my own heel. Sometimes I control here but I, I mostly prefer this because I can still keep my leg active and control you know, his arm. So now it's even easier to, uh, to tap the guy. So the tap would be uh, choke here, extend my body, caught him. I can do it on this side as well, catch him. So this is the high heel. So sit up here, Paul, for me. So I have my standard hooks, which I generally use when he's sitting like this. And I'll attack the neck one way or the other, very common seatbelt grip. I do this one. I also do double unders because it, well, the guy tends to take his hands and push my hands down, which makes it easy for me to catch. So I kind of, you kind of have to fake him out here. So if I do this or I hold a lapel, he'll start pushing one down, which makes it easy for my leg to control now, his arm. And that's what you want to do. You want to use your legs to control his upper body. And if he has one arm to control or to defend, he's going to lose. Another technique I have here, as I go this way, I use my hand to catch. Push and over this way. Now from here, so I already went this way, now I step and I catch over that way. So he's really going to get extended this way and then it's a very similar attack to what I showed before. I can triangle my legs here uh, and then I have him here in the choke or simple armbar. Very simple control. His escape, he turns his back, he lays down, he's going to move out. If I try to mount, he's going to push. He's not letting me stick on his back. So I'm putting out the posts. I can hold his gi right here, this way. If I know he's going to land over there, the post goes out. It's my elbow on the floor. It's no power either because of this bone the way it's le uh, leveraged. If my elbow were in, he can fold over. Go back again. So I'm bowing my elbow outward. Hard for him to throw his back. It's impossible for him to throw his back. Now I'm digging double heels over here into his, into his legs and I'm going to scoot and bring him back center. If he falls the other way, I hold, I have a post out over here. So I'm holding here, no gi, you can just go like this and post. My elbow's posting on the ground. So he can't throw his back. If he breaks through it, he's going to turn. He escaped my back position. So I'm here trying to attack. Let's say he's closed up here. And stay here. I'm not trying to attack anymore. When I feel, when I feel his choice of movement, he goes here, my elbow goes out, and my hand is ready because he'll start opening up and trying to figure out what's wrong here. And I go for my choke, start stepping over right away. High heel here, arm control. I can use my toes too here. Go hook behind his back. So he's completely controlled right here. 
For MMA, it's great because you can elbow the guy, hit the guy. Actually, I don't know if you can elbow the guy that way, but you can control. Use the arm bar here. I can use triangle from behind here. Catch him. Just sit up and tap the guy out. Arm bars galore here. This post you would use if he's totally close. I can't get him. I can't get inside. But I have a good position here. And I'm worried about my position because his elbows may be slipping underneath. Lift it up. He throws my leg off. So a guy that's always curled up like this, I hold both wrists hooking. I use it, uh, elbows down now. I keep him controlled. And now from here, I step on the hip and I go to one side. I choose one side or the other. And then I start riding high. So you see how even though his hand was in, his hand is controlled here to his body. As long as I get over his wrist, I can literally move his whole arm to the side. If he breaks back through, I can control. Or I go like this, maybe he might try to control my wrist and pull. And I just open, I take my hand off, and I can work my toes in there. Same hook, high heel control, and then I'm hooking right over his arm this way. If my leg is down, you can actually get foot locked here. If the guy's good, his elbow goes down, he blocks your knee in. Take the, uh, that, you can keep that there. Uh, triangle your legs, the other way around. Yeah, get down more, and keep this one in, and now slowly start brick tap. You can get your foot there. So you don't want to get caught here. Keep this elbow on my knee a little bit more and shrink down a little bit. Yep, right there. So you can get caught. Hips in. So that's why I like to uh, let go of that. That's why I like keeping my foot out. So I like holding that way. Plus you can get, there's a lot of, a lot of attacks you can catch from there. So just simple, really simple ways of holding. And I think the most important part on the back, no panic. Just relax and you get the back, let him panic, let him use energy. You're just riding. So as the guy moves, he'll kind of tell you what you're going to get, what attack's going to be there for you. So just kind of keep it simple. Some of those things take a little bit of flexibility. And so you have to do a little bit of stretching and uh, your back positioning will definitely improve.